going to do a review of the Alula Bee Fire. I could horribly be, horribly be mispronouncing that, um, but that's what I'm going with. The Alula Bee Fire. Uh, this is a uh, low cost uh, keyboard off Amazon, uh, about $35. Um, backlit gaming keyboard. So we're going to do a quick little overview, see how it, um, oh, you can swap out the keys, that's nice. Alright, see what we got in here, we got the keyboard, owner's manual, which is all in, is there English in here? Possibly. Okay, get that out of the way, and let's get right into the keyboard. Okay, so, um, definitely cheap for plastic. Definitely pretty cheap plastic. Uh, let's see if it's got, it does have little stands on the back, give you a little bit of an angle. Um, okay, so <laughs> first complaint right off the bat is these rest plates right here would be fine if you typed like this. <laughs> but you type like this, and so I can, e yeah, that's, you can either be like that. Actually, yeah, if I hold my hands like this with my wrists on the desk, that actually hits the inside of my wrist just a little bit. But it's not too bad. Alright, a um, couple specs on the keyboard. Uh, the, let's get it here. Um, the keyboard has a 6 foot USB connection. Um, the t keyboard overall weighs 683 grams. Um, the key force to press is 50 grams, plus or minus 5 grams. Um, which just goes to show you it's definitely a um, lower budget keyboard um, not even giving they don't even give you a hundred percent pressure on the keys um, but uh, it does have a pretty good feel to it actually um, right now I've been using a um, the low profile keyboard uh, you know where the keys are more like you would get on a laptop so I wanted to try out a more mechanical type keyboard um, I love how quiet it is actually Um, the shift key, I don't like, the keys actually feel pretty good, but that shift key actually, it doesn't come back up quite as fast as I'd want it to, so it actually feels like it might be getting stuck a little bit. Now if I want to hit a key real fast, these all seem to be good, it actually feels really good, but yeah, that that actually feels like it gets stuck almost a little bit. Spacebar feels pretty good. Everything else actually feels really good. I'm not sure why that... You know, both shift keys are kind of like that. Kind of loud. But yeah, the typing is actually really nice. Alright, so, um, yeah, I do not like how high it is. How high off the ground it is. keep hitting right there. So I bet if I had like a wrist um, cushion right there, yeah, that would be a lot better. So I think I might be buying a wrist cushion right there, and that'll make that feel a lot better. Number pad. Like I said, it is definitely cheap plastic. Um, it has a little bit of weight to it, but it's definitely, you know, pretty light. So let me go ahead and get this plugged in and see what the lights look like. So here's the backlight. Um, you get three different colors. So you have blue, red, and pink fuchsia, whatever you want to call that. Turn the monitor off here. See if that helps a little bit. There we go. So again, blue, red, pink fuchsia. It's kind of hard to see the color. Um, in each color, you also get different modes. So you can have off, low light, highlight, and then also pulse. Um, so that functionality is actually pretty good to have on such a low cost uh, keyboard, which is primarily the reason I bought it. So, um, overall thoughts on this just so far from unboxing and taking a look at it, um, I'm not going to complain for the amount of money I paid for it. Definitely has a good feel. Let me go ahead and Try typing on it, make sure we got all the keys working. It's always a plus. 
So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, tragic, A, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, T, E, X, Y, Z. Cool. Yeah, it actually feels pretty good. Yeah, I'm not going to complain for the amount of money. Like I said, this shift key makes me a little nervous. Whoops. <laughs> no, do not turn on sticky keys. Um, so we'll see how that holds up. Um, but overall, um, I like the look. I like the look of it. I like the colors. I'm not a fan of this. This looks really cool, but it gets in your way when you're actually typing here, at least with me. Now, they do also give you um, keys, which is actually pretty neat. So you can actually swap out... Um, any of the keys that you want, uh, make them transparent. So that's actually pretty neat. So again, comparing this to a high-end uh, gaming keyboard, um, but yeah, of course, a high-end gaming keyboard is going to offer a little bit, uh, offer better quality. Um, but if you're looking for something low cost, um, this is probably definitely a good route to go. Um, it's why I went with it. I just wanted to test out um, a new keyboard, um, something that was, you know, with mechanical keys. And, you know, like I said, I like the, really like the feel of it. Um, we'll, I'll play around with this for a while and um, see how it holds up. But again, for the price, probably can't go too wrong with it. So, this has been my review of the Alula B-Fire. I apologize if I am pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> um, I'll post a link in the description to Amazon if you're interested in purchasing this keyboard. Uh, thanks for watching.